you know, I got to applaud certain people when, you know, when their back is against the wall and they persevere. And then they put a billboard right outside the prison they were sick. Give me that. <laughs> Yo, we got Jersey so I'll be out in the building, yeah. man. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Oh, how you do that, son? Yo, man, I be I be innocent. They be fucking with me. <laughs> I'm really a bitch ass nigga in real life. <laughs> no, I want her to fly, bro. You know what I'm saying? I be chilling, bro. They just be like, let's go lock him up. We think he did it. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I just be a mistaken identity, man. It's a lot of guys that look like me over there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the dreads. Yeah, they be doing yeah. a lot of things. We yeah, a lot of guys out there. That just, but the billboard. The billboard. Did you did you do that purpose? That was a statement. Yeah, hell yeah, man. Y'all let them know because it was a hard time. I was in there. The COs be coming crazy. You feel me? It was hard in there. Like they want to make it no easy. Even if you try to make it easy, like if you try to holler at a female CO, they they hating on that. Mm. You can't even jail. You can't do nothing. They cutting right. your visits short. I couldn't wait to get out and just show my ass. Like like I right, bet. Mm. So anytime before y'all go to work and y'all coming from work, y'all gonna see my shit. <laughs> wow. Like yeah, this motherfucker K home and showed this ass. I told wow. him that. I told him that, but there's some cool COs too in there. Don't get it fucked up. Like, there's some cool COs that make your time easy, but you, you take that one CO that come in there and fuck your whole day up. Right. You know what I mean? Don't let it be visit day. You know your visit's about to be shortened. Right. You know what I mean? Your, your phone calls ain't going to be the last long. They ain't cutting them shit. Yeah, y'all, y'all sitting too close. It's Don't crazy. Shit. It's yeah. crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, like, that was, that was just a statement for, like, to let motherfuckers know, like, not just the CO, just the, uh, the inmates and people that's down. Like, nigga, this shit is possible. I was just in here with y'all facing that time just like right. y'all was. Right. And now, look, I'm back out here. Like, I'm just be trying to turn my negatives to positive. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm doing. Yo, we got to clap for that, too. Man. Absolutely. <laughs> that's one of the best. If you talk about stunting, yeah. like, I love that. So I love that. Like, every day, they're going to be driving, like. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Hell yeah. Throw that's that up awesome. there. That's Throw that awesome. up there. Where does that come from? Like, like you, you, Jersey City. Mm-hmm. What was it like growing up out there? It was crazy. You know, you know, when you come from the from the hood, that shit be seeming normal. But when you talk about it, like we had a shrink or some shit or a therapist, they be like, wow, you've been through some shit. Right. That shit be regular shit to us because we immune to that shit. You know what I mean? Like right. your family getting high, that's regular shit, but it's it's really not normal. But we <laughs> think it's so normal. You know what I mean? Your aunt babysitting you. She not know of doing what she do. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I mean, I had my aunt. My aunt used to tell me to steal a dope boy's stash and bring it to her. I come mm-hmm. from that. Like, mm-hmm. for real. Like, go steal a dope boy's stash. Like, you see where you hot? So we be watching a dope boy watch where he stash it at and bring it back to our aunt. She probably give us a dollar we think we lit. That <laughs> she done came up a whole G-pack or something. Right, you feel me? But we come, I come from how, that, man. How old were you when that was going on? I was a kid. I, was, I remember I was being like seven years old doing shit like that. Seven like years a kid, old. word up, man. Rest in peace, my aunt Mackie, man. She was she, she used to be doing that shit. All my aunts, all my aunts is sharks. Like my aunts is like niggas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. My aunts is crazy. Like you know what I mean? Like they ain't they ain't the way the family I come from. Like my grandmoms is built like that. My grandmoms is shark. Like my grandmoms shot my pop's best friend. Like 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 this is where I come from. I come yeah. from that. My whole background Shout is that. Shout out to grandma. You know grandma. what I mean? Word up. You know what I'm saying? My, my so, grandmoms like, took a bullet. Some dude was trying to rob her. Yeah. And she was like, Yo, if I if I give it up, you going you still gonna shoot me? Mm-hmm. And the dude said, maybe. Mm. <laughs> she said, Nah, nigga, you done fucked up, man. <laughs> nah, she took the bullet, but she was still fighting them when they found her. Yeah, like, it's crazy. Mm. Yeah, man. Well, shout out to Grandma Sylvie. Yeah, man. You crazy. ever sat down with anybody off the strength of that? Huh? You ever tried to sit down with anybody off the strength of that? Like what? Because we we say it's normal, but at nah, the same I, time, I, I we think know I need to talk to somebody, but then. What is, is it really confidential? There's a lot of shit I want to vent about. I can't, I, it's mad shit I be wanting to vent about. I be talking to my bros about that shit, but shit, we going to do the same shit. How we really going to heal it? Like, what we going to channel with that? So I just try to put it in my music right. and talk about it in my music. That's really my best way of expressing myself. I really can't do, I could rap all day like anybody. Could, like, obviously, everybody's rapping, so you can rap all day. But right. the shit you going to feel for me is the shit I'm really going to do. I got to really be going through some shit and be like, right. all right, bet, I'm going to talk about this. This is where I'm at today. This is my mood today. You know right. what I'm saying? So, like, I think I really need to sit down with somebody, though. I really want to sit down with somebody and just chop it up and see what the fuck is wrong with me. Because they be diagnosing motherfuckers with shit. It got to be something wrong with a nigga. Right. I'm fucked up. I know I am. I be tripping. 
I could recommend somebody. You know what I'm saying? I could recommend somebody. Yeah. My life definitely changed. Yes. Yeah, you, put it, you put it in the magazine. Yeah, Char. That's crazy, yeah. see? Yes. Yeah, yeah. But I think I think that I think that we're creative enough. Mm-hmm. You know, coming from prison, coming from traumatic situations mm-hmm. back in the days or whatever, to channel that energy and put it into something on a creative tip. Mm-hmm. And that's what you do. So you're you're still venting, right? You understand what that's I'm saying? Right, you're yeah. still talking you're still to the people, and people are responding to you because they connect to it. Yeah. Right. Like I told you, us in prison when we was locked up, we bumping your shit. Yeah. Because it's not per se you; it's the energy you're exuding. Exactly. That we connect to. Hell yeah. And right. then it's helping us get through what we going through. Cause that's how I rap. I rap like if I'm feeling this way, you gonna feel that shit. You know that's, what I mean? Like right. so that's what niggas gravitate to. They rap. They like they like. Damn, if you feel like even that shit really bothered that yeah. man the way he said the shit. Because mm-hmm. right. it really do. It ain't easy saying certain shit about, oh, niggas killed my man. It's like, I seen my cousin get killed in front of me. Like, how am I going to say that on something? Like, I got to say that because it hurt. Because when I say it, it ain't easy to say. Right. Like, I, 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 I'm, I'm on fire right now. I still can't write a song about my dead brother. I can say some shit, get me mad. I catch the nigga who killed my dead brother. But I can't give him that emotion. emotion. You know, yeah. that emotion that Styles P gave you on, where's my brother? I be trying to find that shit. I can't find it because it's like I break down, I fuck up. I can't do it, man. But I'm gonna do it one day, and I think that's gonna be the song. You feel me? Yeah. Breakthrough. Word up. I see that. That's part of that's part of the worry. Yeah. I don't. I worry about us normalizing the trauma. Yeah. I I worry about us going through some things and then turn around saying that's normal, as if we're supposed to be hurt and banged up in the head at young ages. Yeah. I I worry about that because you because when somebody when a kid Mm -hmm. is listening to your shit and they get banged up mentally something mm-hmm. really fucked up happens to them in their mind they go i guess that's normal right right and we nobody ever tells them nah you're not supposed to feel like that you're nah. supposed to be able to talk about this without crying without breaking down without wanting to go blow somebody's head off like right. you're supposed to be able to deal with this right. and you just don't know mm-hmm. because nobody ever told you that this is not normal you're not supposed to feel like that. yeah exactly so that's why i hope you do get to you know what I'm saying? Get get that up off you one day. Because I, I hate that you're living such a good life and you're doing so many good things and you still walk around with all this a backpack full of like barbed wire. That's, yeah. ter- that's terrible. Yeah, because you never know when that shit is going to come out. Nah, no. Then there's that. And, and, that's and what that. it be. That's what it be with me, though. Like, every time I go to jail, it's like, it's like my anxiety kick in where it's like, nah, I can't go out like that. Like, I just take over the situation, like, immediately. Like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, not allegedly, you know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. I, I, I'll be in some shit where it's though I just feel threatened and I'm gonna react. Cause look at all these rappers getting killed. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Fuck just the rappers. Look at the street niggas getting killed. You feel yeah, me? Right. It's all about like, it's like they always want to test you when your gun go on, when you really trying to chill and do some shit. You know what I mean? It's really hard not to kill niggas, bro. It's like a full time job, job not, not to, to kill, kill niggas, niggas bro. And niggas be wanting to die, bro. Nigga, nigga yeah. want to die. Like he, he wants you to kill him. This because you that guy. Like, oh, I want to be the nigga that argue with that guy because yeah, he's the guy. Yeah. Oh, y'all want to respect this nigga? I want to challenge that guy. And I go do shit like that. Like, I get hate from niggas I don't even know. Like, I am cool with the hate in my city. I'm cool with that shit because they're gonna be my ops forever. It is what it is. That's just how it's gonna be. Mm-hmm. I don't want peace nothing up with y'all. That's where it's gonna stay. But when I go out the city and go anywhere else, I ain't trying to bring no smoke. I don't want no smoke because I don't. Know what I mean, I don't know y'all. And that's that. You call me, but it be coming like that though. Oh, he, oh, he posted. He this super tough nigga. He beat all of these cases. Oh, y'all, oh, he really lit that shit. Let's go check him. You know mm. what I'm saying? Like why? I'm, like what for what? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it be it's always like that. Niggas why be chasing want, it. Why, why do you want to find out? Exactly. And this why do you be, find my out? anxiety be crazy, <laughs> bro. Once I feel threatened, I just I just go. I'm like, what? These niggas trying. What are you trying? I can't be that guy. I can't I can't be that guy that uh, my brother dead. You feel me? Mm-hmm. That's my Superman. He dead. You feel me? And we gotta go see him in the grave. I see what it did to my mother. It fucks my mother when I'm in jail. But you gotta come see me like that. Like, come see me like that. Like, right. you ain't about to come see me like that. that. I already seen what that did to you. Right. I can't be that. I'd rather you come see me like this. Right. You know what I mean? Because I'm. I'd rather be in there fighting for my life, being a suspect than being a victim. Anytime. What human want it? Who want right. it? Fuck you talking about? I'm going. Cause I got, cause I got to make it home to them kids. I got to make it home to my mother. Cause if I, if, if I'm going, everything falls apart. Isn't that incentive to walk away? You can't walk away sometimes, bro. I tried to walk away so many times. Mm-hmm. Like I, I'm literally told a nigga like, yo, bro, in the situation in the past, 
I told the nigga, I said, bro, we in here with these bitches. Let's have a good time. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But you want to go outside. I said, we go outside, get us some gang shit. We can stay and have a good time. My little cousin just came home. I'm trying to show him what his money do. Let's go outside, and get us some gang shit. For what? Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, like, <laughs> what? what's I'm the point? So when you saying that, nigga, really think you bitch because you copping out, but it ain't copping out. It's like, nigga, you it's ain't like, worth like, it. Yeah, it's too mm -hmm. much shit that's gonna come with this shit. Cause I'm really that. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Is you really that? This hot fuck, trap trapper turned smack rapper. Smack. Only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars I can hang with the backpackers. Uh -huh. Trap star, I don't hang with don't the backpackers. Hang. I'm in the hood with the work you heard. Making fiends leave earth you heard. Got your baby mama thirst you heard. Feel the flow, nigga, throw it in reverse. This the way you need to surf you heard.